Good morning and welcome. I'm Vishnu Shom bringing you the very latest update on a very interesting news development, one which a lot of people across the world, particularly in India, followed. This was the attempted landing of an Indian probe on the surface of the moon, the Vikram lander. This was supposed to take place on the 7th of September. We were moments away from this being a successful mission. Alas, it was not successful because the Vikram lander lost contact with the Chandrayaan probe orbiting over the surface of the moon and it became clear uh, that something had gone disastrously wrong. Uh, it was also pretty clear that uh, at that stage that the Vikram lander had in fact crashed uh, but there were statements made by the Indian Space Research Organization uh, that in fact it had made a hard impact on the surface of the moon uh, near the, uh, the south pole of the moon where it was supposed to land and that it may be tilted onto one side. But now the mystery has been solved by uh, this man. Um, Shanmugam Subramanian. He is a Chennai-based uh, amateur astronomer uh, who's made this remarkable discovery. Now, uh, it's been confirmed by NASA that uh, this impact site image is of the debris of uh, the Vikram lander. Now, he was actually uh, looking through a lot of images and uh, these were some images which uh, mark some very subtle changes in the area where uh, the Vikram lander actually uh, crashed or crash landed and then a subsequent image over here appears to show some white streaks where perhaps an impact point was made. Now to the uh, normal eye it's very difficult to actually make out anything which is why we need to refer to this image by NASA of the impact site and what uh, Mr. Subramanian did uh, the, the Chennai based astronomer is that he went and he was looking at a lot of these images publicly released by NASA and he wrote to them saying that look I believe I found the debris of the Vikram lander and what they did is they actually wrote back to him confirming that you know what uh, Mr. Subramanian you have been able uh, to do just that and so this puts an end to the mystery. Let's listen in to what he told my colleague Sam Daniel just a brief couple of comments over here. Whatever I sent them an email and uh, I hope this also inspire a lot of other amateurs as well as people who are involved in, uh, who are uh, for their hobbies involved in space exploration as well as other stuff. So you actually located the exact spot where yeah. Vikram is lying now? Yeah. So I, I just located the debris of the lander. So based upon it, NASA searched around that uh, location and found more debris of the Vikram lander actually. So what I did was I just found a one piece of it and based upon it, NASA was able to do more research on it during the uh, subsequent flybys on November 14th and 15th and they were able to. All right. Well, that's just a small bit, uh, a small chunk uh, of the interview and uh, we've actually spoken to him in a, a lot more detail. But this puts an end uh, to that mystery and I think it's a fascinating discovery now. Uh, but it also does raise some questions which I think ISRO needs to come out with. Firstly, ISRO soon after uh, the, uh, success, uh, the unsuccessful attempt of landing the probe on the surface of the moon did say that they had uh, a thermal image of the site of uh, of the crash landing. If that was the case, why didn't they release it then? Uh, there is a sense and there have been statements which have been made by the ISRO leadership uh, that the, the lander encountered some problems related possibly to software in the moments before it, uh, it crashed on the surface of the moon. I think a lot of people interested in science, a lot of taxpayers would be wanting to know what those problems were and what uh, ISRO has done to rectify these problems if indeed they are attempting another future mission on the surface of the moon because at one level a future such mission would be important because this actually tests a whole lot of technologies. Soft landing on the surface of, uh, of, um, uh, of the moon would be something that tests rocket motors on board a craft, it tests software, it tests cameras, it tests sensors, uh, it tests telecommunications, um, it, it tests a whole lot of, uh, uh, of, of systems uh, which are absolutely essential in, 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 in coming together, uh, telemetry, in coming together to actually ensure that a mission like this works out. But look, science is difficult, particularly when it comes to space. These failures are common. It's happened many times in the past. So we should not be discouraging ISRO or saying that, look, you know, ISRO made a massive mistake. Mistakes happen when you're pushing the envelope for India to have actually done this project in the first place and what we've achieved so far because remember that Chandrayaan probe is still circling the moon. It's just the Vikram lander part uh, which hasn't worked out. So 
all in all, it's been a fabulous ex mission uh, in science. We all hoped it would work work out well. It broke all of our hearts when it didn't. Uh, but now finally that mystery appears to be put uh, to an end.